napkins down here. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, as a courtesy to your fellow media members, as well as the coaches and student athletes, please silence your cell phones. Please provide your name and media affiliation each time you ask a question during the press conference. We have a mic in the room, so please ensure you're using the mic each time you ask a question. If you are joining on Zoom, please use the raise hand function for the questions. We will address questions in the room first and get to Zoom if time allows. Recording press conferences on cell phones or cameras is prohibited. Now let's open it up for, to a statement from Coach Williams, followed by questions for the players, and we will hold questions for the coach until the end. Okay, um, I'm incredibly excited for our team to be advancing in the NCAA tournament. Just um, a ton of credit to Texas A&M. I think they played us defensively just uh, just very aggressively, physically pulled us out of any type of rhythm that we really wanted to get into offensively. Um, but we found a way in the end, made some huge plays down the stretch. I thought um, Callen Hay coming in, taking a, a big, big charge uh, late in the game and um, made some made some free throws down the stretch and, and the plays that needed to happen to, to survive and advance. Questions for the players? Uh, Brent Wagner from the Lincoln Journal Star. Uh, Lex, what uh, what means the most about winning in a game a game in the NCAA tournament with this team this year? Yeah, we talked about it before our season. Um, what I when I came here, um, I wanted to play in the NCAA tournament and win games, and to finally kind of get over that hump and do it. Um, it feels great. Um, I'm excited to be moving on with this team and program into the next round. Austin Norman, ninety three seven. The ticket, uh, Logan. Your team's gone to you in close games late now for the last couple of weeks. What does it mean to you to, to feel that confidence from your coach and your teammates? I think it's something that every player dreams of. I think the confidence that my coach and my team instills in me, I think is something that is very important. And to feel that is just really special. And to be in this tournament with this coaching staff and this team, I just think that it's something that like you don't find anywhere else. And the ch chemistry that we have as a team, and I think it just really showed tonight and paid off. Uh, Brent Wagner, uh, Lex, you guys lead by 17. Um, then when you finally win the game, rally there in the last minute. What's what's the emotion, right, when the game ends? Yeah, just uh, just a tough, gritty um, win. You know, they were chipping away. Um, I felt like um, our turnovers, they were really um, capitalizing off those and scoring. And um, I think we really st uh, stuck together and leaned into each other. and. Just there's no doubt in our mind that we weren't going to win this game, and um, just um, finishing the game out with a win is huge. Also, Norm again. Um, were there any late games, both of you, that re you referred to there late in the game and the huddles that you could draw back on from earlier this year? Any of those games from before come to mind? I think we just talked about it in the hallway, actually. Like the Rutgers game comes to mind for me, and just being able to like finally win one of these games, a close one like that, I think is just really special for us. We talk about kind of every part of it matters and every part of it means something to us. And so being able to capitalize, like said, like Lex said, on all of their turnovers and their mistakes, I think, is just super special for this team to finally kind of start going forward. Brett Wagner, uh, Logan, a uh, tie game there with 15 seconds left and you go to the free throw line. What uh, what are you thinking at that moment, and what did, what do you tell yourself in that moment? We practice these every day. I think coach talks about it before every game. Trust our training. So being able to just step up to the free throw line, confident, and knowing that I don't want to go home. This team doesn't want to go home. So just knocking down some free throws. Are there any other questions for the players? Okay, one more. Lex, what's what's most impressive about? what Logan did in this game for you and how, how she helped the team uh, get to this point? You know, it's huge. Logan always steps up in huge moments, and um, it's pretty rare to see that out of a freshman. I can think back to when I was a freshman playing in March. Um, I would not have been able to do what Logan's doing. Um, it's really impressive to me um, how she just continues to step up in huge moments on the biggest stage. And um, when I was a freshman, I definitely uh, couldn't do that. So proud of you, Lo. Thanks. 
Like rebounding, obviously, a huge part of this game. I guess what when you got to rebound it, I mean, did it feel like an accomplishment in a game like this? I mean, we talked about it. We needed to rebound. If we wanted to win this game, we needed to rebound. And um, I think coming into halftime, we wanted to keep them less than eight re rebounds, offensive rebounds, and they had eight at half. So uh, we knew that we were going to have to rebound better. Um, but I think they still out-rebounded out us, and we ended up winning. But um, I think that needs to get better if we want to continue moving forward in this tournament. Austin Norman, Cool Bali had a big second half. What did she present that was so challenging? She's just physical and tough. She's really long, um, really athletic, can get to the rim, finish, finishes really well. Um, she had that huge offensive rebound at the end of the game, the and one, and um, just making plays like that, it's pretty hard to guard, so. All right, thank you to the players. You guys can go to the locker room now. I appreciate Thanks. it. <coughs> now questions for Coach Williams. Uh, Brent Wagner, Amy, would just uh, kind of go through that fourth quarter. What was what was the bad and the good of the fourth quarter? Um, yeah, the bad was we we watched a, a pretty substantial lead kind of um, slip away. I thought they picked up their pressure. We kind of panicked a little. Cool Bali was um, amazing. I thought she did some really good things to spark them. Got a steal that led to a layup. Got offensive rebound putbacks. Just found ways to get to the paint and and um, and finish. Was was incredibly dangerous there and and went on a run kind of on her own. I think. Um, and I'm looking at game minutes and I'm thinking, you know, okay, you know, Lex didn't get to play very much in the first half because of foul trouble. And so, you know, maybe we can keep her. I think maybe I didn't um, keep everybody as fresh as I needed to right there in the fourth quarter if, if I had that to do over again. But I, um, I feel like um, the right players made the right plays to come back and, and find a way to win. You know, we talked in the locker room before the game. We kind of reminded that, you know, this season has been a season of some – some really awesome wins and some some losses that taught us some lessons. And uh, but this is a team of fighters that continues to get up and keep fighting and and learning and and having positive response when things are not going well. And so when we lost that 17 point lead and went down by a point, um, lots of teams would cave in that moment. But our kids stayed locked in and focused. They made some big free throws down the stretch and found a way to to continue to uh, to compete. Again. Coach, tough night offensively for Jazz, but she was on the floor for a lot of the game. What did you see from her, even though she was having a hard time getting looks? Yeah, I thought they played her a little differently than they did uh, anybody else on our team, just off ball screen coverage. They were very aggressive. They tried to make every single catch of hers um, difficult, and she had to work so hard just even to get open and, and um, had great ball pressure on her the whole evening, but she still found a way to get six assists. Um, she's just a calming presence for our team. She made a huge bucket kind of when we needed to stop the bleeding down there, kind of a little floater. Um, just also defensively just anchors our defense. Um, she means so much to our team that um, even if she's not scoring points or um, you know they're making things very difficult, we need her presence with us. Uh, Brent Wagner, uh, in a close game, you're 19 for 22 from free throw line. What is what's your reaction to that? Yeah, I'm just proud of that. Um, you know, I think um, Lex kind of started us off, and Lex going six for six from the free throw line, and um, and then down the stretch we had the right people there. I mean, Logan, Jazz, they're very confident three point or free throw shooters, and and um, you know, so those two stepping up and making the big ones under pressure um, were good and 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 just um, important. Coach, first tournament win for this program since 2014. What does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot to me just because I just love coaching this team. I just love coaching this team, and I just, uh, I'm just so excited to, to get to continue to do that tomorrow and, um, and, and preparation for the next game. And, and I just, they love each other. They love competing with each other and for each other. And so for them to get another opportunity to keep doing that, um, it feels great. Are there any other questions? No? Thank you for being here, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Communications will post a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided ASAP and will be posted shortly. Thank you for joining us.